Now let's take a look at production possibility curve. Now this is a new concept that we'll be learning. Production possibility curve. What is this production possibility curve? Before getting to the definition, let me tell you production possibility curve answers the question what to produce. It tells you which product you should produce more or the combination that will give you the highest lead, the combination that will give you the highest productivity and the yield. Production possibilities curve is also called as production possibilities frontier or the transformation curve. Let's understand why these terms have been assigned to this curve. This is the production possibility curve. It gives you the maximum amount of goods that you can produce. It gives you all the possibilities of combination of goods that you can produce. So for example, if you are producing wheat, how many units of wheat can you produce if you are only producing wheat? But if you are producing cloth as well, so how many units of wheat and cloth together you can produce, it gives you different possibilities. So we call it production possibilities curve. We also call it production possibilities frontier. What is the meaning of frontier? Frontier means boundary. It also means limits. So this curve sets the limits. This curve tells you the maximum amount of production you can get. So once this curve tells you the maximum amount of production, you cannot go beyond it. Thus, it is called as the production possibilities frontier because it sets the limit. It is also called as transformation curve. What is transformation? If you take a close look here, we are producing wheat, which is shown on x axis, which is shown on y axis, and cloth, which is shown on x axis. Now, if you take a close look, we are producing 15 units of wheat, but we are not producing any units of cloth. So, at point A, at combination A, we are producing 15 units of wheat and 0 units of cloth. But as we move to point B, the production of wheat decreases by 1 unit. And now we are producing 14 units of wheat. However, one unit of cloth is now being produced. So at B, the combination is 15 units of wheat and one unit of cloth. Similarly, when we move to point C, that is the combination C, we see that now we are producing 12 units of wheat. It has reduced by 2 units now. And 1 unit of cloth has been added. So at this point, the combination is 12 and 2. As we move on to the point D, the combination D, we produce 9 units of wheat and 3 units of cloth. As we move further to combination E, 5 units of wheat are produced and 4 units of cloth. And finally at point F, no units of wheat are produced and 5 units of cloth are produced. If you observe we are going on decreasing the production of wheat and the same is getting converted into production of cloth. The same is getting transformed into production of cloth. Wheat is getting transformed into 
cloth. It is not physically getting transformed into cloth, but we are reducing the production of wheat, which is giving us idle resources so we can produce cloth. So in place of wheat now cloth is coming up. Thus we call it the transformation curve. Let's see the definition of production possibility curve. It says production possibility curve is the curve which shows different rates of production of two goods with limited productive resources. It shows different rates of production. The combinations here point A, point B, point C, D, E and F. They give us the different combinations of producing two goods with limited productive resources. We have learned that resources are limited which is depicted by this production possibility curve it sets the boundary for production because resources are limited we cannot produce more because we have limited land or we may have limited machinery we may have limited capital or we may have limited labor the resources are limited which is depicted by this production possibility curve so production possibility curve shows different rates of production that is the different combinations of two goods with limited productive resources.